morning ESM. Today, we are talking about a notorious insect you know too well about. Yes, that is the infamous stink bug. Abby, are there any interesting bugs outside? It is currently raining outside, as you can see. Later on in the show, I will tell you what the rest of the forecast looks like. The House January 6th Committee is raising expectations for its first public hearing today, saying the event will be packed with new video, audio, and other information proving former President Trump was the heart of the attack on the Capitol. The 90-minute hearing, the first of at least six planned for this month alone, kicks off at 8 tonight and will be carried live on all major news networks except for Fox News Channel. The hearing will also feature two live witnesses and the committee will also tease what viewers can expect for the remaining hearings, including video of deposition from Senator Trump White House and uh, administration officials, campaign asides, and family members. Not at the news, and other news. The first monkeypox case has been identified in upstate New York. The New York State Department of Health announced Tuesday that the orthopox virus case has been confirmed in Sullivan County, marking the state's first case outside of New York City. Contract, uh, contact tracing efforts are underway as the risk for monkeypox remains low, we urge New Yorkers to be alert and seek care if you have symptoms that consist with monkeypox. As we continue to learn more about this virus, it's the ninth orthopox or monkeypox case in New York State confirmed a day after the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention raised its monkeypox alert levels and recommend travelers wear masks. Monkeypox and symptoms are similar to smallpox, starting with flu-like condi conditions such as fever, headache, muscle aches, and exhaustion. Monkeypox also causes lymph nodes to swell and can lead to painful rash and lesions. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, do you want to say thank you to a former teacher? Did you miss your favorite teacher at Senior Elementary Walk? Write a fist bump and we will send it to them. Show your Spartan pride, professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. Yoga Club will meet at 325 this afternoon in the library for our last flow of the school year. Mats will be a bit available to borrow, wear comfortable clothes, and meet us on the mat. Thursday, June 9th, that is today, there will be a sign-up meeting for anyone interested in playing field hockey in the fall. The meeting will take place in the small gym at 3.30. If you are unable to make it, please touch base with Coach Harris this week. The ESM Class of 2023 is having an outdoor movie night on the turf this Friday, June 10th. Movie begins at 8 o'clock. We'll be showing Spider-Man No Way Home. The class is very excited for this event. Bring your blankets or lawn chairs. You may sit on the turf or the bleachers. Administration is $5 or $20 max per family. Skippy's ice cream truck will be there beginning at 7.30, and the concession stand will be open for snacks and drinks. All right, so today we're talking about a bug you, that, like we said, you've probably seen everywhere. The ever-annoying stink bug. We're sure they're wandering around us now. Yeah. They can become a nuisance, however, and getting rid of them is a lot harder than you might think. Believe it or not, stink bugs are almost impossible to get rid of. They often live in our houses and keep warm from the winter and will not go away very easily. And now you might think that killing them will solve the problem, but you'd be wrong. As the name suggests, killing them will release an unpleasant, skunky odor. <laughs> One of the ways to get rid of them is to simply vacuum them up. But we'll talk more about that after weather. Today there is going to be a lot of rain. We switched seven day forecast. Today we have a high of 72 and a low of 54 and tomorrow we have a high of 73 and a low of 55 and I'm Abby with your weather.
Now for the interesting question, do they bite? And the answer is no, in fact, they don't. As a matter of fact, they don't do any harm to people or pets, nor do they spread disease. However, some people are allergic to the compounds released by the stink bug. Symptoms of this allergy can include a runny nose, and even worse, if you come in contact with crush bugs. There are, also, diff oh. there are also different types of varieties of stink bugs. They can either look big and chunky or skinny alien. Okay, let's not freak out the viewers. Instead, let's over to the sports. The Boston Celtics took a 2-1 lead in the NBA Finals after a 116-100 win in Game 3. Jalen Brown led the Celtics in points with 27. Congratulations to Rocky L. and Laura Sednick for winning Athlete of the Year last night at Sports Awards Night. I'm Leah Ram with your sports. Well, that just wraps this up. These insects are hard to get rid of, but don't kill them. There are better options. That's all the time we have for today. So for me, Todd, and everyone else here at Spartan News, have a clean day.